guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am diying the math box for the simply good and the beautiful's math curriculum that is required to use while you complete the curriculum just a side note if you have already purchased the math box one slash two that was required for the old math curriculum from the good and the beautiful this that box will be very helpful and resourceful when creating this new math box for the Simply Good and the Beautiful Math. Um, whew, real life motherhood. Um, there was an option to purchase the hard copies or print them yourselves, which I chose the cheaper route and printed them myself. myself. So just to give you some numbers and prices, for the hard copy of the math box and the book, it is $49.98. Currently while I'm filming this video, it says it's out of stock. Individual items, the course book itself costs $24.99. The math box itself costs $24.99 as well. Currently while I'm filming this video, it says it's out of stock. So I kind of wanted to save $25, but since I already had the materials and the resources already available, I wanted to go ahead and DIY the um, Math Box 3. So the Math Box comes with the wooden Math Box itself. The box itself has the magnetic whiteboard on the back. The math box contains compartments for easy storage. It comes with two game pawns, six sided dice, two capacity dice, one 60 inch long measuring tape, one array mat, and 16 wooden magnetic shapes. So off the back, I don't have the wooden box itself where it has the magnetic whiteboard on the back. I'm not buying a magnetic board because I don't think I will need that unless I come across a lesson where it requires it, but I know you can sort of push it to the side and not really use the magnetic board. If you want, I'm going to put a picture here of what you can purchase as a little dupe for it. For the array mats, I know the Good and the Beautiful provides a sample sheet where you can laminate it and reuse it like that i'm gonna post a picture here what i'm talking about and then try to leave a link if i can in my description box so it'll be easier access for you to find um i will make the laminated part i just don't have the hard copy here so i'm gonna share with you what's in the box and i'm gonna show you what i have and sort of a dupe you can use so once again as a reminder half of what i use and repurpose for my box came from the math box one slash two of the old curriculum so with that being said with the math box three that is required is two game pawns coming from the old box is these i'm reusing these game pawns if you never purchase that curriculum and you don't have the old boxes you can use any type of manipulatives you have on hand for an example i have toddlers and preschool age children and this is some of their manipulatives was little bears of course you can use bears little like this we haven't gone we haven't got to a lesson where we needed them so i'm not sure if size matters or you can go to like your local hobby lobby or michael's or craft store and get little um wooden pegs sorry our pegs already drew on i'm just showing you example of what you can use um but this is what you can use just little pegs as your game two game pawns it's in the box it calls for one six-sided dice here we have just one six-sided dice i'm not sure if this dice came in the math one two box uh that i'm not sure of but if you have like monopoly or any kind of game like that and it had a dice you can always use that dice next is a ten-sided dice this is what it looks like. If you had the old box, this one did come in there. I'm sure you can find something on Amazon of a 10-sided dice. I'm not sure. 
um, but this one was already in the old box, so I'm just reusing it. The next one was two capacity dice, one inch cubes. I didn't measure my blocks already had, so I have babies, and sometimes you buy blocks for babies. So this is where I got my blocks from. You can see they're kind of old and used. So I wrote on them myself. Um, they're about an inch. So this is a DIY little how you can use what you have at home. So I wasn't sure what you were supposed to write on them, but I'm gonna link the link below that I found and what you're supposed to use on them. Um, I went ahead and wrote on them, but you can probably cut out those little squares. If you click the link below, you can see what I'm talking about. You can probably cut out the little squares and maybe glue it or mod podge it onto the block and it can be, um, sort of used like that but I already went ahead and wrote on them so this like a gallon of one pint um one quart this one has like two pints four quarts eight pints four cups 16 cups so we haven't got to a lesson where we needed to use these so I'm not sure how we have to use these next required in the box is one 60 inch long measuring tape this one was in the math box one and two of the old math i'm just reusing it again of course if you don't have this one you can go to your local um hardware store and get like a little measuring tape i know they have kid size measuring tapes you can use um but this one i already had so this is our measuring tape this one has centimeters and inches on each side then it has one array mat um I'm gonna post a picture here of what it's talking about. I don't have that one yet and it hasn't, and I haven't printed it to laminate it, but that's how I plan on using our array mat that is required. Um, it's from the Good and Beautiful website. If I can, I'm gonna link it down below. So it'd be easier for you to find and print because it took me forever to find it. You need 16 wooden magnetic shapes. I don't have wooden shapes uh, that would be a nice investment for me of course you can go to amazon and get like the wooden shapes and purchase them there but the good and the beautiful from the math one and two box they had these cardboard looking shapes we did a lesson with these and they they were a little bigger than the picture but we had all the shapes that we needed this doesn't come in the box but this will be used over and over again in the box we already needed a lesson for it so it's just in the bag go ahead and find a safety pin or a paper clip and just go ahead and stick that in there your box or your ziploc bag whatever you're storing it in just so you can have on hand and when the lesson comes you can not just scramble around this is just a heads up what doesn't come in the box but we already needed for the lesson was like cereal pieces or like little pieces like that to count multiply add up whatever you're doing for the lesson but so far we needed about like 30 or less cereal pieces so maybe some like some cheerios or some apple jacks or something like that would be good to have on hand as well i'm not storing them in a little ziploc bag because i don't want it to get all crumbly with pieces yes so that is it for this diy math box um go ahead and comment down below if you're gonna diy it too i would love to help you out if you need um so far this is what we needed and used for the math box um if we come across some more things in another lesson i will add it to my ziploc bag hopefully it's nothing super outrageous or big but that is what we're doing so instead of a box i will use this little ziploc bag it all fits in nice and neat just the store Bye, guys.